theory, there's a theory that there was nuclear weapons, nuclear uh, explosions on Mars in the distant past. Have you heard of that, Steve? No, I haven't. Is that why it's red? There's fucking crazy theories about it, but uh, there is theories that Mars used to be an Earth-like planet with life, and it was destroyed, ruined, in a nuclear incident many long time ago, possibly as much as a million years ago, and that's why it's not a thriving planet anymore. What do you think of that theory? Steve, have you heard that one before? Do we know how long ago it was? I haven't. I don't. I think. I think. I think you're talking like million, millions of years ago. Million years ago. So there was nuclear action on Mars. Was that say 180 million years ago, according to this Fox News article? You hear lots of theories about was is the li- right life on Mars. Tell me if I'm wrong. Did Donald Trump just say to Joe Rogan the other night? that there might be life on Mars. Talking to these people, w- was was this something that you were compelled to have conversations no. about? Was this your personal interest? No, a, a little bit. It, it's not a great interest. He's got his arms crossed. He's got his arms crossed. Right? Body language, right? right? He's, he's, he's hiding something. He knows. He's been told. He knows, man. He can't tell. He can't see. No reason not to. I mean, there's no reason not to think that Mars and all these planets don't have life. The dawn just said there might be life on Mars. Rogan's quick to uh, cut him off and say, right, okay, it's desolate. You know, you know, they've been up there, they've had a look, it's desolate. I don't yeah. think there's any life there. Well, maybe it's life that we don't know, but maybe... Well, it's- maybe it's life that we don't know. What the fuck does that mean? You've got to look into what he said, man. Like, sometimes you think, is he just making it up, or does he know something? Life there at one point in time. This yeah. is the speculation about Mars, that Mars had a, 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 an atmosphere at one point in time. Joe Rogan says, talks about the theory that Mars had an atmosphere a long time ago, and he goes along with that. But that could support life. It also, yeah. also had large bodies of water. It's been proven now that there is water underneath Mars, un- underground. They've, they've found big, massive... Uh, lakes and deposits. They never knew that before, they know that now. To me, it looks like <laughs> Don just said there might be life on Mars, and Joe Rogan said, we haven't found even bacteria yet, but they have found water. Does fucking Don know something? We don't know. But life on Mars has always been a mystery, and now Elon Musk, Musk reckons he's going to send, we're going to go there, and we're going to have a look for ourselves. So. Nobody's set foot on Mars yet, but we've got plenty of photos, plenty of pictures, plenty of uh, information about what it looks like. Now, that's that's cool. Now, evidence of previous life on Mars. In 1976. That was Viking 1 in 1976. Viking 1, right. So it was a fucking a thing that flew, flew by and took photos, right? It took photos of this region called Cydonia, right? So it took photos of this area of Mars that's got these big cliffs. That's the face. That's the face on Mars. That's the famous picture of the face on Mars. Does that look like a face? It does, but our brains are hardwired to make out faces in patterns that. That's right. That's right. And do you know what? There's a there's a, there's a name for that. It's called pareidolia, something like that. You can look at rock formations and you can pick out, or you can look at clouds and you can pick out fucking pictures of fucking dragons and that. This object, rock formation, is one mile wide. On that angle, it looks it, it looks like a fucking face. It looks like a, like a big, like, a, you know, like, um, you know, like the Sphinx, but much bigger. It doesn't look like a Sphinx, but it could be an artifact, like, uh, you know, a just giant fucking monolith statue thing. But it's not just the face. There's other objects in that location that don't look natural. They look like artificial, massive constructions. There's a five-sided pyramid in the same area. It's a very inter- interesting area of Mars. Now, the face has been debunked because they've taken it for different angles and it just looks like a trick of the light. There's, there's a five-sided pyramid there. That's weird. That's a weird thing. Oh, Billy Carson, he knows. Right, uh, so can you go back to uh, photos of Cydonia? These rock formations, is that the face? So that's the face taken to another angle. It, maybe it wasn't just a trick of the light, but how come it's got a five-sided pyramid as well? And there's other pyramids on Mars. There's other pyramids that have been photographed 
It look, doesn't look like anything there, does it? But it's still got the same shape. I see the face on Mars as being um, like the Loch Ness Monster. Like, I want to believe type thing. You know, I think it's uh, really interesting. One of the most interesting photographs I've ever seen seen you've got your five-sided pyramid but there's other things that have been spotted on mars steve in photographs doorway photographed on mars we're looking at a picture of a like a cliff side taken from one of the rovers on mars and it looks like a, an entrance into a tunnel and it looks like a, a crafted doorway with a lintel and a ramp and everything Steve, what the fuck is that? Is it actually on Mars, though? Let's just say it is, because it's supposed to be. It's been debunked. It's, it, it's definitely taken by a Mars, one of the fucking buggies or whatever that takes the photos, right? It's been debunked by NASA and all that, as it would be. But to me, that looks like a fucking doorway. It does, and it looks like you've got an actual wall within there on the left-hand side. That looks like a yeah. man-made wall to me. Yeah. Right, okay, okay. Now, they reckon it's three feet tall. I'm glad you said that, because you'd have no idea just looking at it. Uh, apparently, it's, they reckon it's three feet, but they're saying it's a natural rock formation. And to me, that looks like a doorway. These are like uh, photographs, clo close-ups. You can go to, there's one, uh, it's shaped like a... I mean, people think they've, they've spotted animals and shit, you know, like... It looked like a crocodile, didn't it? <laughs> that looks like a, a ghost, or what is depicted as a ghost. Right. Can you go to this one? Machine part photograph of on Mars, right? This is interesting. You know, it's even got a circular hinge for a door. Definitely looks like a fucking entrance into a cliffside. So, as well as the face on Mars, the pyramids, um, all sorts of things have been photographed. There is uh, photographs of like a huge uh, pipe tunnel structure on the surface that's got ribs on it. They reckon it's about a mile long. And it it looks, it just looks like a tunnel. It looks like an artificial man-made uh, construct. It's hard to find online. And then you've got these these little things that, that f taken from Mars Rover and stuff that people have found on the photographs and zoomed in. Now, the, f the first one I'm going to come to now is the one, th th this one. Mars Rover uncovers a machined piece of equipment. You look at the picture, and it looks like a piece of a machine. It looks like it's made by design, for sure. It's not natural, is it? It's got, it's been lathed. It's got grooves. It looks um, artificial, as if it's been made. What's that doing on the surface of Mars? Do we know how big it is? Ah, that's a good question. No, I don't know the size of it. I'm going to move on to Mars rover image. Contains a boat, a shoot fish head, right? Is it just rocks, though? They reckon that looks like a boat. Which part of it? This. Oh, yeah, I can see the similarity. Yeah, is it, is it just rocks, Steve? It that looks like rocks thing. to me. It looks like rocks right, in the shape okay, of a to me. Okay. What is a dead sheep doing on Mars? I don't know how I don't know how that looks like a dead sheep. Yeah, that's a weird one. It just doesn't look natural. It's like a keyhole shape on the surface taken by one of the uh, landers. Someone with drill holes. Uh, a rock that's got fucking holes that looks like somebody's drilled it. But why would somebody just drag drill a fucking piece of rock. Okay, I'm just going to finish with this one, right? <coughs> uh, Mars's, Mars's moon is called Phobos, and it just looks like a big bit of rock. Apparently, there's a monolith. A monolith is just a big, massive stone structure. It was photographed on the moon of Mars called Phobos. And do you know who Buzz Aldrin is? Was he meant to be one of the first people on the mission to, to the moon? He was the second man. I think he was the second man to walk on the moon mm -hmm. after... Uh, after Armstrong. Buzz Aldrin's still alive. He gave an interview a few years ago and he talked about the monolith on Phobos. Anyway, I reckon there's more to Mars than what they say. I reckon there's there's evidence of an ancient civilization that was possibly wiped out. Let's see what Buzz is saying about the Phobos. Visit the moon of Mars. The moon There's of a Mars. monolith. They're a very unusual structure on this Little pot a monolith on Phobos. It goes around Mars once in seven hours. When people find out about that, they're going to say, who put that there? Who put that there? Well, uh, the universe put it there. If you choose 
God put it there. That's Buzz Aldrin. Now, see if you can get the photograph up. Um, uh, monolith on Phobos. Uh, Phobos is spelled P-H-O-B-O-S. So, by the looks of that shadow, that is a tall object. Yeah, it's a huge shadow, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's another picture where you can actually see uh, against the, the the background of... Uh, Sure, there's bit. There's another picture of it. So that looks like a fucking what they call a monolith. Looks like a massive gravestone. It looks like that thing from two thousand and one Space Oddity. <laughs> you know where all the monkeys are dancing around it. That's possible. That's uh, not a natural thing. All I'm saying is, I reckon when we get there, hopefully Elon will uh, find all this stuff and take pictures of it and let the whole world see exactly what used to be on Mars and what relics are there. And I think I think there's some really interesting shit there. And I think, I don't trust NASA. I think there's more going on to space and the moon than what NASA tells us. And uh, I think there is a cover up. So um, that was my Mars anomalies thing.